Hello everyone and welcome to our next technical analysis review for the Euro US dollar pair. Today is November 19, 2012 and we are currently looking at price action on the 10 minute chart. Now, as you can see, we have this yellow vertical line in drawn in dividing last week's trading session or um, last Friday's trading session from today's trading session. And as you can see, since the beginning of the trading day, and even throughout the Asian and European trading session, the euro has managed to gain and strengthen in comparison to the greenback. And this was primarily due to um, some good news coming out of both the U.S. and Europe. And uh, for the past two months, uh, for those of you guys that have been trading this pair for the past two months, you would know that um, a majority of investors and traders have been short the euro and oversold in the pair. And that's primarily due to just the uncertainty over issues coming out of Europe. Um, in particular, Greece and other troubled Eurozone nations, as well as concerns over the U.S. fiscal cliff discussions. But right now, we're seeing this short squeeze trade, this short squeeze rally um, come back into the market, and this risk appetite come as investors become more hopeful and optimistic that Congress will come to some sort of resolution to avert the U.S. fiscal cliff. So then, although this news came out on Friday, you can see that if we look back on Friday, we can see that there was this pop or this move higher in the euro. And there, this sentiment carried into today's trading session. You can see there's a positive handover from last Friday's trading session into today's trading session. And this risk appetite continued. So we're in this short squeeze rally due to just optimism that um, Congress, that both the Democrats and Republicans will come to some sort of agreement. On, on, on budget cuts and, and what to do with the whole fiscal cliff and how to avoid going over the fiscal cliff. But um, this news caused risk appetite in the market, but this was not the only news that, that drove risk sentiment for the day. Um, of course, later on in the trading day, we also heard news. It, I think it came out about an hour after the New York opening bell. We received news that Greece would most likely be given their next trench of aid. Um, of 44 billion euro and this also caused um, higher yielding assets and risk assets and even the euro to pop um, on this news and react positively as well so then we uh, we had this news come out but um, we also had good US existing home sales data as well that also boosted risk sentiment so then um, of course we're seeing risk appetite in the pair we're seeing euro strength in this euro rally kick in and US dollar weakness um, due to just um, investors feeling hopeful that, that some type of agreement or something is being done to, um, to help manage um, the, uh, the market, especially with the U.S. fiscal cliff and even deal with issues concerning, you know, Greece. So although this is a holiday week in the U.S. with um, lower than normal liquidity, um, we can see that the Euro-U.S. dollar pair still managed to rally um, 80 pips from the session low here at 2740 all the way up to the session high here at 2820 where it found resistance for today and right now um, of course you can see how the pair slid and fell from this resistance and it was consolidating for a little bit but right now it appears to want to retest this resistance at 2820 going into um, today's close for the u.s trading session we can see that it's rallying up or it's trying to move higher around the close of the u.s uh, market so then um Right now, um, anything can happen, um, but for the most part, we know that the, the move today was bullish. We see this risk appetite. We see this euro strength in the market, and if I was looking for an opportunity to go long and trade in, the, um, in favor of the euro, then what I would have done, I would have waited for price to pull back to an area of support uh, like it did here at, towards this 100 simple moving average line. And if you look lower towards our slow stochastic, you can see that our slow stochastic has cycled lower to, to oversold territory, but now it appears to want to cycle upward and cross and move upward. So this is a signal of just a shift in momentum to the upside. And if um, there's bullish confirmation in the pair, what I would have done um, at this time, I would have entered a buy order at 27.65 upon bullish confirmation. Then I would have placed my stop loss um, at 27.50 um, below support here at 27.50. Then I would have um, held on to my trade and took profit when price had reached the 2800 psychological level for about 35 pips. So that's one entry that I could have entered. But um, if I was feeling a little bit more aggressive 
and confident in the risk appetite and the bullish momentum that was currently in the market, then I could have held on and closed out this position and took profit when price had reached the next approaching resistance at 28.20 for about a 55 pip trade. Of course, this was a much more solid uh, resistance with offers um, at this area right here. So then, of course, you could have held on to the trade and closed it out at 28.20 for about a 55 pip trade. Now, after price had climbed to the 28.20 area, we began to see, of course, like I said, the pair slide um, and consolidate for a period of time. But now it appears to want to move and retest this 28.20 level again. So then if price breaks above this 28.20 resistance level, then we can expect um, price to rally and, and gain traction and momentum to pick up and for price to find resistance between of the 2865 area, which is where this ascending uh, or descending trend line resistance is. Um, let me actually go to the three hour chart so I can show you that this three hour chart was formed from some, uh, some highs that were formed um, from October um, leading into the October 31st. Um, this is what formed uh, this descending trend line resistance right here. But um, let me go back to the 10 minute chart. So then if price breaks above our 28.20 level, just like I said before, then we can expect price to find resistance between the 28.65 area and the 28.75 area, which was our November 7th high. So then somewhere price could, will find resistance in this area. Now, if price breaks above this zone of resistance, then of course we can expect price to test and find resistance at the 2900 psychological level and zone right here. Now, that's only if price breaks above this resistance at 28.20 can we expect that to happen during the next trading session. But if price breaks lower and breaks below this support at 2800, then we can expect price to find support around the 2780 level, um, or like right around this 100 SMA line. We can, we can expect price to find support. And if price breaks below this support here, then we can expect um, price to find resistance at the 20, or I'm sorry, find support at the 2750 area right here, around 2750. This will be the next support. And if price breaks below this area, then we can expect stops to be triggered, a momentum to pick up to the downside, and for a price to find support at the 2720 area. And if price breaks below this area of support here at 2720, then we can expect price to find support at this ascending trend line support at the 2700 psychological level. So then that's what we can expect um, during the next trading sessions or for the next few trading sessions. Um, of course, we need to keep in mind that this is a holiday week. We have the Thanksgiving holiday in the U.S. this week. So normally there's lower than normal volatility and, and liquidity. So that may mean that you may have to uh, take your profits much shorter than usual and also adjust your stop loss as well. To account for the lack of liquidity but um yeah that's pretty much it for the technical analysis review for today and i will be talking to you guys later you guys have a wonderful day okay then bye